Okay, hello. We are back with the Stanley Parable. Um, let's see, how are my levels? I think I'm going to have to turn it down over here. And then, like, wait. Oh, the stream can't get any louder than this. <laughs> hmm. Damn it. Oh, uh, this is going to be bad. I'm going to have it super loud in my ears for it to be half decent volume on the stream. I'm already cranking it. Shit. All right. Oh, maybe if I make it lower in my actual headphones. Okay, this is a good solution, actually. Okay. Now I think the volume should be a good volume on the stream, but it's not oppressively loud in my headphones. So I'm hoping that's good. Um, took well off after I finished Dragon Age 2. Didn't know what to play next. Uh, then I heard that they were making an ultra deluxe version of this game. So I figured that if I ever want to play the ultra deluxe version, I should have played this version. So I know what it is. So that sort of solved the problem for me of what I should play next, which is something I was really struggling with. Uh... Because I have no idea what this game is. I do not know. I know that it's an indie game from a few years ago. And I know it's sort of, you know, I certainly get the impression it's going to be a little quirky. And it's going to be a little meta. And it's going to, you know, it's not going to be a, it's going to be a little intellectual, perhaps. You know, it's not going to be a typical, uh, video game but i don't really know what it is other than that people say it's good and people say it's different so without further ado let's just go i think i know what the hell this is i mean all i've got so far is i look like it looks like i'm in let me look up what year this game came out but whatever year it was it looks like the environment i'm in is a little prior to that that would be my guess looking at this stuff. Okay. This game came out in 2013. Well, hmm. Maybe it's set in 2013. I feel like. It's cute, by the way, when I move. Yeah. The computer in the game is showing my. Um... <laughs> it is. You know, it's on the option screen, and if I change what screen I'm on, the, this computer changes if I move my mouse around. It, is my controller working, by the way? Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, I got the touchpad for the mouse, and up and down for up and down. That looks good. Um... But yeah, this looks like it might be set in 2013, maybe a little earlier. I wonder when exactly we're set, but yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I'm going to move from the mouse. I lose my little replica computer here. Anyway, anyway, let's go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 
Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, so don't have any more real idea of when this is set, but obviously I'm looking at a computer. It's somewhere between the uh, 1980s and uh, presumably when this game was made, 2013. And I'm a boring guy, and the idea is here is that I have a boring job that I like, and then something changed, and I assume this is the point where I'm supposed to type something. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to type something. I'm supposed to move around. Okay. How do I do things? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, not seeing a way to interact with objects yet. I suppose... Maybe that'll become clear later. Right now, I guess I'm just supposed to look around and wonder what happened to my co-workers. Seems to be only one direction I can go, so... They're making it easy for me. When Stanley came oh. to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Well, I can already get some sort of idea of what this game is getting at. The game said I entered the door on my left, so this is like a big symbolic decision I have right now. Am I supposed to do what the game says I did, or do I have free will? I like to think that I have free will. I would at least like to think that, so I'm going to go right, and we'll see what that does. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. Ah, yes. yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay, the games uh, give me a little attitude. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, again, I'm going to ignore it, and we'll see what happens. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. It keeps getting snippy with me, but let's just stick with this. Um, Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. 
I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. All right, I'm this glad it, I... Stanley. Your <laughs> chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay, I'm glad I took this path. I feel like it's a lot more mysterious this way than if I had just done what the game told me to do. Now I'm... I feel like I'm breaking the rules even though I'm really not. I'm sure they anticipated that a lot of people when they were told do this thing would do the opposite of that thing, but uh... I feel um... I feel a lot more adventurous this way. Whoop, the door closed behind me. That doesn't seem great. And this is totally dark. That also doesn't seem great. What happens now? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, how do I even do that? I guess, I guess with X. No one ever told me that X was oh, Sarah, the, uh, you? Uh, the drag on, button, but apparently it is. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Exactly. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying savage. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm Very trying to get savage. you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Wow. Very mean. Well, how many stick but you're in my Whip. story now. Fair enough. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Now it's this... Am I dying because I didn't do what they told me to do in the first place? Or would this happen anyway? I don't know. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has yes, a job said that demands that. nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press B. Uh, no. All that it said was, uh, you're a worker in your, you know, employee number 427. Your job is very, very boring. All you do is follow the orders that you're given on a computer, but you like it basically because you're a boring person. And then, uh, one day everyone in the office disappeared. And it said to go to the... So check it. So it tells you check out what you know. Try to find out what happened. Go to the meeting room, uh, and then I got to a place where I could go through a left door and a right door, and it said go through the left door to go to the meeting room. So of course I went through the right door, and then it was like okay, I guess you're taking the scenic route. Then it said uh, the meeting room is uh, in the door to the left. So, of course, I just walked right by it. And I think that's where you came in. Oh, wow, that's funny. I skipped an entire game. Okay. Is this B? What's B? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming Are back levels to levels okay, work. by the way? One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Okay, I mean, that's what I chose. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. 
and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Can I do anything else at all? Can I interact with a mannequin? Can I interact with a fridge? Ah, and so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the right, earth. So that's what the just thought happened. excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind mm. controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Still long and down another was a game with a baby. In this game. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? Yeah, in reality, all he's around. doing now is I'm pushing the, the same buttons he always has. That was cute. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Still can't walk around a bit. At all. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. So does that mean that I should do it, or because I've been doing the opposite? Or that I shouldn't, or that I actually shouldn't do it? You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <laughs> Please press RT to question nothing. <laughs> oh boy, all right, we're already getting wild. I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. <laughs> <laughs> and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Oh my god. Game told me to please die. All right. I've died in the game. I've never been told to. Die. I've never been ordered to die by a game, but I guess that's what just happened. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Well, now I can show you what I did the first time. I guess this time. What does this say? Winning input. Oh, that did something. Okay, it's not doing anything else. Uh, input received. Can I type things? Can I use buttons? Okay, it doesn't seem like I can do anything with these computers besides press one button. Turn off.
Okay, so I'll do what I did the first time. I'll go to the scenic route, but this time I'll actually go in the door. Otherwise, apparently, I die. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I thought he might have a new set of sarcastic wow. comments. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Okay, that actually was a new set of sarcastic comments. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right, exactly. So last time I went straight, now I'll actually go in the door. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Well, you know what we're going to do now. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Oh, I have, oh, is this, do oh, I have Neil? I have Crouch? That's all I have, though. Okay, well, I have to go left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Ah, good no, bit. no, 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 not the right. <laughs> Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? This is the, it's this clearly... is the, um... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? This is the old version. Uh, the reason I picked up this game is because I understand Let's there's now an ultra deluxe down, version, so... Right, left, Maybe down, I'll play that later. Left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. the okay, Yoko okay, Deluxe yes. just came out, I've I believe. Got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. An hour? Oh, okay. Well, I bet that I can make a game that's designed to take an hour to take five hours. Because that's how I work. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Okay, so I saw a bunch of... I don't know exactly what that was, of course, but some sort of place where they're keeping all track of, of all the employees. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, what was it? Because I am 427. I'm guessing it was that. It was 104. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room uh, with all the Well, monitors? yes, I've been turning you off move every... the story somewhere, or... A... Every computer oh, I saw... Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I mean, this is a fun bit, but if the bit 
ultimately amounts to... Oh, I do have different choices there. I was going to say, if the bid ultimately amounts to you have to choose what the game makes you choose, then that's annoying, but I opened some more doors, I believe. It's hard to tell. I feel like... Oh boy, I'm in the maze of twisty little passages all like. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Oh, did it do put just, me in a... Do we need to restart the game again? If it maze on I purpose. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay, so yeah, I, I will reinstate what I said before, if, you know... If the game is linear and it gives you All the illusion that you can gone. choose things, what could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the, the end result is it just makes a different sarcastic comment. Then that would suck. So, all right. I mean, it seems like the only thing I ever learn is that I can't do anything. And maybe that's the point of this game. Okay, yep. you. it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Yeah, or the point of the game is to make you feel hopeless because you're a corporate drone. But okay. I don't think that was there originally. I feel like I would have remembered that. Spilled coffee. Fuck you, I'm turning off monitors. Hey. Oh. It just makes a noise. It doesn't actually open them. Aha! I oh, no mod at all, something. Pepe. The story. Good to see you, by the way. Here it comes. And thanks for uh, subscribing. I appreciate that. I was... Not paying as much attention as I should have, but I do very much appreciate that. Not subscribing, probably. Whatever. I just... Hey, Strider, what's up? Yeah, no, subscribe, wait. follow, Never mind. you know. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Liking, following, subscribing, it's all the same thing. Ooh. What the fuck just happened? Okay. I'm intrigued. Now I seem to not be in an office whatsoever. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Yeah, or maybe I think of a podcaster. I don't know what I think I am. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how I'll about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both no, I disagree. Any actual work for that I've made a lot of great Some decisions, and I and should win. And this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> yeah, this is All very right. cute. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Yes, Ryder, I guess, you know, since they did a uh, remaster of the game, and they probably are doing publicity for it. But uh, I am not playing the remaster. I'm playing this, but I'm playing the original version, but maybe... That's in preparation for doing the remaster. Ooh, okay. Well, the adventure line is not going the way that I was originally supposed to go. 
Okay, it's originally going this way. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay. All right, so there's no longer two doors over here that can go left or right. Now there's the line, which brings me sort of not outside, but into like the uh, maintenance area or something. I don't know what you call this. Yeah, it's like, in a sense, it's the simplest thing ever. See, like when the game the tells you to go left, you go left. Is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. But I do, but I do wonder what those numbers are. I bet it's 50-50, but I end up really don't know. Destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton I want, of my I own to finish, relative uh, talking experiential I mental go. subjective construct? Whoa, 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 hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, okay, now I feel like go. Yeah, let's go. You're probably right, Bernie, because it's like, you're, you're a boring office girl, but we, all you know how to do is follow orders. We say go left. It is encouraging you not to go left, because of setup. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty great right now. Fix, we can fix that part. This is where it came from. Okay. So let's go up the stairs. It's fine. I don't think I really have interaction options in this game unless it tells me I do. I can open doors. I don't think I can look at pieces of paper. I don't think I can really do things. Unless it says so. Ooh, I can't fit this way. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Now the line is, um... It's probably still too loud, right? Now the line is uh, on the walls, which is very interesting. Ooh, 
what am I supposed to make out of that? <laughs> so I went through that room for no reason whatsoever. It is, it is, it is a really good bit. Now the line itself is unnecessarily convoluted. <laughs> now it's on the ceiling. Oh my god. This is, this is the game torturing me for absolutely refusing to do anything it wanted me to do. Wait, cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yeah, but what do you think the actual odds are that this means anything at all? I, I feel like this is an unreliable narrator game and like everything it tells me is, I bet this means nothing, but okay, I looked at the fern. Wait, now we're, gonna look. we're back at the office? No, 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 line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Okay, now the line is crossing itself. Part of it goes out this way. Oh, so you actually have a choice now? This looks like it's going... Yeah, this is back where I started in the first place. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that that was like my uh, seventh grade English uh, quality observation that there's an unreliable narrator in this game. Okay, oh, here's where no, I... No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you... 104 fire. everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take Don't this see any other fires. Restart. Ooh. Can I type it? Typing on the keyboard doesn't do anything. Okay. You know what, Stanley? I say forget <laughs> the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Well, I have no choice, right? Let me just turn off some monitors. That didn't work. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. This just is... Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, it went somewhere. Yeah, no, he, it's, it seems like this narrator has some sort of oh, no, not you again. interest in my Stanley. life. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay. I assume don't acknowledge it means don't go where it says, but I don't have a choice yet. Okay. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. 
From here, the story is in our Why control. do I get the feeling I know what's going to happen? important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door I thought, has I thought to, was tell me to go left. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Damn it! All right. Oh, hold up! What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending, and we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes. It's all determined. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't okay, want to forget? Okay, I believe all these My things mind happen. Goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to this? Oh no, we're only up to the fourth research. You're saying all of this. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite well, sure if it's the destination or the journey. Yeah. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... Another good bit. Is, was that accurate? I've only been playing for 17 minutes? I feel like it was longer than that. No? Hold on one sec. Okay, so yeah, I haven't been playing that whole time, but yeah, I don't know what that timer meant. All of his co-workers were gone. What could <laughs> it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It seemed to imply that my turning off the monitors changed something. I kind of find that a little hard to believe. But let's see. No, it just... It was just the sound of a restart, I believe. Oh, I can open and close the door. That's rare. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I just want I just want to see if he can be even more sarcastic about how wonderful this room is. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace, its subtle charm. No. <laughs> 
Stanley knew it was something deeper, something darker. Yeah, I feel but like he did. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Do to do. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't mm. five years ago. All right, that's... Oh, the door closed behind me. Okay, well, I guess I'm committed to this now. It sounds like this might go the same way it went last time. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong yeah. foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been, been about nothing but you here. all this time. Hold on one second. There's someone you've been neglecting. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Okay, I'm back. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh, that seems crazy that he didn't collect the stats. That would be like the first thing I would think to do. I think... I think we're just gonna think we're just doing the same exact thing we already did, unfortunately. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Skip. All right. Okay, there we go. All right now. Unplug I want it. You to come in and tell me all about oh, your I love that idea. Oh shit. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I don't think that was oh, me. Come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now, he's All right, eating sorry lunch. about this. I now, thought something different would happen. Home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, 
He stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Okay, so now at least this means a little more than me. We've seen directions. two of these things. And down another was a game with a baby. We haven't seen and the game with the baby. The Stanley Parable. And we didn't know that the monitors were mind controls. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so so I guess we learned those it things. Again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. So maybe Surely need to there's an answer down some new path. Maybe 104, maybe that's... Perhaps if he played just one more time. The other person who's kind of but there breaking is out of the answer. simulation here. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, okay. that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, I'm going to not do it because he told me not to do it. Is anything going to happen? Yeah, I think I did read that you can play both of them and you'll get more out of it uh, if you do. So that's why I didn't just say, let me buy the new game. That's why I said, let me play the old game. Yeah, you think so? Okay. All right. Um, I mean, who knows? This is the kind of game where maybe if I didn't touch a button for 10 minutes, it would do something. Uh, I don't know how long I want to do this. Um, yeah, either that or maybe the point is that you know, this narrator enjoys teasing you with the idea that you have a choice and then you really don't. So maybe I really don't. Maybe I do have to press a button. And he's like, I bet you can't not press a button. But meanwhile, I don't actually have a choice. I do have to press a button. No. Yeah. Maybe I failed the test here, but I'm going to press the button momentarily. There you go. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Please, please press LB to question nothing. That is my second favorite prompt I've gotten besides please die. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried...
All right. So that's what happens if you do that. So we're not going to do that anymore. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Even though Stanley we did decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Learn a little bit. Now, will it have yet another sarcastic comment if I go the wrong way? At some point, you would think it would have to recycle. To open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley <laughs> nope, for the first he's, he's got time new material. true happiness. Then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. Hilarious, okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. All right, last time I went down, I have never actually done, I have not once done what this game told me to do, which is go this way. Okay. This room looks like it could be interesting. Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, it's a meeting room. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, can we learn something here? <laughs> Termination Tuesdays, where broke Wednesdays. Um, some more comedy bits here. I assume I'm in group 42X, which is Wednesday, whatever that means. R.I.P. Franz. I bet this all means something. some funny comedy bits here but I don't really know what it means <laughs> monetize free to play surprisingly easy thing to do as it turns out <laughs> what do people want? Things. Money. More money. Things, but with money to buy. More things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. That all checks out. <laughs> Find teenagers have been teenage demographic. Big net. Some sort of child trap? I wonder how much of this is just comedy bits and how much of this... Whoop! This changed. <laughs> Rate of increase in grass per slide. Wow. Where can I find the uh, projector? Wild, okay. Like I said, funny bits. I don't know if it means I. Oh, I can go to the broom closet. This is the first, like the first Stanley door I could into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nothing. I can't take a wrench. 
There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No now, of course, he's, still be here. now, of course, he's making me want to stand in the broom closet. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Now, I'm is, absolutely... He's literally just standing there doing <laughs> sweet F.A. <laughs> now, we're absolutely determined to stand here. Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, <laughs> at least you would have had a reason for exploring. This game is trolling me, and I'm trolling the game back, and I don't know who's in charge this anymore. Is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. <laughs> Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. There is no way I'm moving an inch. Stanley Perhaps was ever. ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty amazing. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort. Mm -hmm. I think he's not saying my character is dead. I think he's proclaiming me anymore. myself dead. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? <laughs> the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please oh, remove this... their corpse from the area and instruct another human All to right. take Can their we derive the implication the that the narrator is not a human? Sure Perhaps he's some sort of first -person AI? Video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative <laughs> tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Obviously, I'm not doing that. I mean, if he does nothing for long enough, I guess I will. Mm. All right, well. I'm glad we experienced all that. I guess I have to continue. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> yes, that's right. I died, they took away my body, and someone else just sat down Coming and started to playing the game. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, you know what that means. Is this where I was when I took the well, elevator Stanley just couldn't down? Do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? <laughs> All because getting he in a broom closet in this economy? Vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him? Yeah, that second one's went? a great question. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. 
I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally that, found an answer. That's an way too simple an explanation. It can't possibly be it. Actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float oh. above the ground. Hey. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was oof, so much fun, oof. and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Right. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Yeah. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently and wow, he invited this is himself quite to an epic sidebar here. Whoop. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my yeah. job. He all said my, my wife was exactly fake. The way it's always been. Obviously, my I have no idea what's normal. true and what isn't. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, shit. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had uh, scheduled for pretty the harsh. Day. The very See important someone people dead and you feel better about yourself. Of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay, am I her now, or am I just dead? Apparently, I'm just dead. 
Okay. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure Ooh. of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Oh, this is an interesting twist. Hiya! Hiya! <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. What's going to happen with this plot about someone Stanley following me? Stanley butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection <laughs> between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean... Truly, truly, deeply, madly, love. This is like the sixth time I've been in this room. I'm impressed. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. But eager to get back to business, every Stanley single time I've gone to that room, it's had an entirely left. different bunch of sarcastic insults to throw so at me about it. he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Alright, so last time I went in the meeting room, with the detour into the broom closet, of course. Okay, can't do anything this way, so... I guess we're doing that again. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, huh. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Well, these slides seem different. The easels don't seem different. number of slides on this slide and for a game that's only supposed to take an hour to play they put a ton Stanley of work into this there doing nothing at all he seems to think i have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything this is why stanley and i are on such good terms Gonna stand here a little longer and see if he has any more sar sarcastic comments for me. All right, I think we saw everything. Yeah, all this stuff looks the same. Okay, moving along and not going in the broom. Well, let me just go real quick. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be right, part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. That's what I was hoping you. would I'm happen. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen, but I get the feeling that he's serious and he's not actually going to say anything. Just give it a few seconds. Told you I could stretch this game out. Don't ever doubt my ability to do that. All right. I don't think he was going to say anything. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hmm. Let me try it down. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered oh, the possibility shit. of facing his boss, admitting oh, he had no. left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe 
He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All maybe of my if I can get out of here, I can somehow out of existence is a single just never ending maze. No Shit. None I have to go through all this again. Sense. God damn it. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, this was a long the... ass sidebar to go through again. Shit. Conclusion I'm that had been not going to start over it though. Tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh. What a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers I'm sorry again, gone. it's kind of hard to he tell whether you do something job. repeatedly, whether it's all. going to do something he different himself, or whether it's I going to do the exact up, same so thing I'm over again. I'm going to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself I being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Have you, have you ever had a lucid dream where you realize back. it was a dream and you the fresh air of a world start doing cool one. shit? It's pretty incredible. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Oh my god, then I have to die I after all this, and the okay. woman has to walk over my body? Damn, this... This is going to take a while. I apologize, people. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Oh, shit. Where is that from? That sounds so familiar, Bernie. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And oh, okay. She had soon I mean, I don't know exactly what you mean, but... For just a few brief there was moments, some sort of video or meme the that makes sense. Man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. 
I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Where was this made? I noticed they spell things in a non-American way. Oh, it was a Half-Life 2 mod. I've never played Half-Life 2. Just that's a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps <laughs> so, too majestic. I'm like a combination of a much smaller I'm version so impressed and a much by this. larger I mean, I guess it's not clearly difficult to write. It all made Stanley uncomfortable. Multiple he descriptions in the same room, but this made him smile. At last, this proof cracks me up every time. Human. All right. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Right, so I'm going to do. Yet there was not a single person here. What it either. tells me to do. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, <laughs> hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> Look at this. They closed up the broom closet. I thought it might make a sarcastic comment when I tried to go in it. That is funny. Okay, so I'll go down. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can't open that. Huh. Executive bathroom. Can we open it? No. Can I turn on his computer? Guess not. Can I use his phone? No. Nah. Not a big game of interactivity. You basically walk places. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded mm. the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. I did try to and use so it. the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay. And Stanley I'm just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Yeah, I'm guessing I can't get back out. So. On the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. Can I go back out? Two eight four <laughs> five. Am I supposed to put this? Where in this room would I put this? I get kind of a cursor. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override mm. kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Hmm. I don't know where I was supposed to put that, but okay. So now we have kind of movie or TV show lighting, which is maybe I'm matching that, actually. 
Now I have to go down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? It's this about the question room. would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, that sounds like a really terrible idea, but I don't have a choice. Oh, I do have a choice. Well, let's do that. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I'm okay with it. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Uh, yeah, well, nevertheless. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You think so? I think it's going to kill me. Hi, Kiba. Well, you as the were machine wrong. whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, you were wrong about it. His life had been of no going on forever. Whatsoever. I'm still not convinced. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. That Max is dead. The real story. Trapped forever in his Although it's not looking good, I will admit. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Can I... Ooh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley was led helplessly oh, I thought I into the in time, but I don't think I did. In I don't a think single it's visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. I'm so proud of myself instantly. for remembering I have a duck button. Hmm. Huh. And yet, I'm still moving around. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Uh, okay, so we have uh, competing narrators at this point. Whoa, look at this. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, I suppose that's true. If you start a video game where the ending is that you must die, then I suppose it's true that as soon as you hit start on that game, you are dead. Or your character is dead. Okay, we got our credits. These doors go anywhere? Nope, cannot open the doors. Button sounds. Uh, 
I don't think I've heard any of those in this game, so I obviously have not done anything. Wow, it's just just gonna be like a um It's just gonna be like a director's commentary here. In <laughs> larger words. in development we decided anything we're standing we'd end up on a battlefield fighting aliens the action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator we realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of this game plus some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters which was not our intention yeah okay so I have stumbled into the director's commentary here I'm gonna see like Unused things and stuff like that. who wrote them emails trying to be funny or deep I guess Yeah, I can only imagine the kind of pseudo-intellectual emails you get from fans of this game. That's, uh... That's what you ask for when you write a game like this. Okay, they got obviously they got a um Nigerian scam email or Hong Kong spam Hong Kong scam. Will the game feature copy bars? Just people with their hello, so random humor. Okay. I mean, honestly, this doesn't seem like the most exciting game in the world to see unused screenshots for. I mean, it's not like these are uh, the world's most uh, exciting uh, scenic vistas that you're seeing in this game. Oh, yes, I forgot to walk off the cargo lift. I probably should have tried that. Ooh, we got some maps. The Sending. Wait, wait a minute. What? What? What's it doing? I don't like this. 
Don't like this at all. Oh, my game stopped responding. Shit. Oh, he crashed. Oh, no. Why? Why would that happen? Oh. Well, we're back, but it's just making noises and not doing anything. Shit. Can I press escape? No. I don't know. Maybe it auto saves. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta close it. Well, that was a little annoying. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it saves shit. Look at this. My option is begin the game. Wow. That's, um, this is the that's story pretty of awful. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I mean, because I lost all my quote-unquote progress. I mean, I know that progress in this game is not actual progress. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But, you know, it does, it does say different things depending on the choices that you had Yet made in the prior playthroughs. Here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now I did that, I did that. Saves enabled, I did that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him, what he could not... Yeah, there's no, a save option. Was it yeah. the keypad behind the boss's desk? Wouldn't have thought I needed to do that. Truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra the keypad. Be pin now, number. how did I Two, how did I fuck eight, this up? The four, keypad five. behind his. Oh, but of course, now I see it. <laughs> couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. All right, well. Where, where is this thread? Where are you seeing this? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt uh, more. Wow, they have their own subreddit. I'm a little question the nature of. I the guess everything has its own subreddit. I'm a little surprised. Now, when for years it had never occurred to him, this question would not go unanswered for long. All right, I'm going to kill myself again, and this time I just Stanley won't go that Stanley walked straight ahead through the way. large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. But yeah, this is disappointing because it's going to be different death. this time because I won't have gone through the all of the endings and found the 
thing that said this is the these you know I won't have gone to that room that listed all the uh, iterations of the game. I feel like it's going to be different when you do it the first time as opposed to when you do it on like the fourth uh, iteration. Yeah. 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 I mean, I die right here, and I go to like the post-game section, but it seems like that's not the end. End. Farewell, Stanley," cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. But I don't. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was yeah, already... Just save right here. Um... Did that do anything? Yes, okay, okay. Dead from the moment he hit start. So that was... Yeah, like, I appreciate that they went through this effort, but it's like... Whoop. This thing is counting down. What does this mean? I'm gonna wait till it's finished. Mm. Nothing happened. Um, so I can't go right here. Um... Yeah, I appreciate that they went through the effort to show you, like, things that they didn't use for this game, but, like, the game is so simple that th this isn't really that interesting. Probably also mean to mean more to me if I had seen any of the real endings, which I haven't. Is this narration outtakes? Yeah, 
That's that's fine. I don't really need to hear all this. All right. So she did say something to the effect of I can get back to the main game from here. So how do I do that? I think I did all this. So let's try going up. Again, I appreciate the effort, but they're, like, showing me things that are virtually identical and not very interesting, even if they weren't. Whoops, I feel like it. Oh, this says exit. Okay. That sounds good. Let's go in the direction that says exit. <laughs> Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay. Whatever that meant. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I'm rumbling. Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push Duck. escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. So oh, this is interesting. Walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your it's an interesting, true uh... Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Okay. Is this an ending if I... Is this actually going to be an ending if I do this? Ah, uh, that didn't count. That's just what happens when you hit escape and you hit quit. This. I guess it counts in a sense. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, she was saying hit escape and hit quit. It's the only way to survive, so that's what I did. But it just yet there does, was not a single you know, person here either. Did what Feeling you would think would do. Disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might come into a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I thought that might be an ending in and of itself, like it does something. It's programmed to do something. Special when you hit escape and quit at that point. Now I don't Stepping into his manager's office, really know how that Stanley would work. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't like even that. have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> Another good bit. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay, so this time we are not going to kill ourselves. We will go into the mind control facility because that sounds way better. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, I can't do anything except press a gigantic button, so... 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Uh, which way did they come from? I'm just going from this way, now I have to go this way? Can't do anything here. Play observation protocol, okay. I mean, that's pretty much what I figured this was for. Now the monitors jumped to life, their Man, true rough. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Sure. Okay. I mean, that's the game told me. This is. It has already spoiled this for me. I've already seen this. This mind control facility. It was too horrible. Ooh, I to think I saw another fire person. True. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was Six, happy uh, with his boring job? Hmm. That his emotions had been manipulated Someone to accept it? Someone who doesn't seem to have a particular number assigned to them. Interesting. What am I supposed to do now? Go here? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold do. reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so let's look over what is actually here. Okay, a button that says four. Before we do anything, let's figure out what this all is. Although I get the feeling we're not going to be able to do that. Okay. We have a power button. That might be what we're supposed to press. But it's offline now. So if I press this power button, is it going to turn it on, which is not what we want? Hmm. We have a blue button that has a picture of a house, and a red button that has a picture of a triangle of some sort. Yellow and green light. Oh, the green. I can't really make out what these symbols are supposed to be. These also have some sort of symbols on them. Huh. Well... I don't understand what I'm looking at. Here we have a number five. Okay, that's a different area. Check that out in a second. These lights are a little different. Now we have a purple one. And the light blue one. I am getting more and more confused. The yellow one. Here's number two. Okay, so one, two is here. Four is up there. Five is... Five is, like, back here, right? Yeah. Haven't seen three. Is that down here? Doesn't seem like anything's down here. There's three. Okay. Okay, so I know where all the buttons are, 
And I saw a big power switch, too. I don't know what any of this means. But those seem to be the buttons. Now, what's in here? System power off and on. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Well, again, the fact that he's telling me to do that makes me think it's actually not what I should be doing. What happens if I hit number one? Console disabled. Was that like that before? I don't know. I should have checked that. Did that change anything? Oh, we've got some stuff off to it looks like. This just looks like uh, code on the left over here. Yeah, I can't make out what that says, but it looks like it's supposed to represent code. I'm going to hit through two through five. Here we go. Two. And three was like hidden behind one of these things. There we go. And then four was up the stairs. There's those button sounds. I was wondering where they were in the game. We saw them in the post-game area. Now we finally encounter them. And five. And that does not seem to have done anything. What about the big power button? Which I can't even remember where it was now. Shit. Oh, this is... Does this thing change when I hit buttons? No. Nah. Didn't one of these consoles have a power button? I feel like the first one I looked at had a power button. Oop, what's this? Something I can't use. Yes, here, right here. But I get the feeling I can't use this button either. Nah. Okay. I guess can't really do anything in here, so I'm gonna go in here and turn the power off like he told me. I suppose I could have turned it on, but that seems weird. But maybe that was what Patents, I was supposed to do, and then... And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened... Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still yeah, lay unsolved. Yeah, because he... Unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Because how he... Had he been freed because he crashed, and I didn't... What other mysteries did this strange... deleted all hold? my... 
But as sunlight streamed Prior into the chamber, he, he realized none of again? this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Not that I had made Whatever any progress whatsoever, is, admittedly, on finding out <laughs> why everyone disappeared or what was, was happening. He needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Do you have a choice? Probably not. This probably, yeah. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I just unlocked the achievement, beat the game, which makes me think I definitely didn't beat the game. Yep. Okay. So I beat the game and yet I'm back here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now I assume that if I do that again, the same thing is not going to happen again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he yeah, entered the door wrong. on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So, as far as the computer is concerned, this is a playthrough where I've done exactly what it told me to do every single time. Oh! Okay, this is new. I'm glad I thought of that. Okay, so now I've got an elevator I can get in. Do you want to go up or down? I'll go up. That is scary. That is just dystopian right there. What what country was this in? Cause I get the feeling it wasn't America. Brazil? Huh, okay. So I'm in this elevator. Nope. I'm rumbling. I appreciate that they went through the trouble to... To, uh... I am playing this on PC, and yet my controller is rumbling. Supposed to press another button. Okay. Feels like I'm in the same exact place. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. Can we go down?
Why do I get the feeling the same exact thing is going to happen? Just gonna go down forever until I hit a button. Again, I assume it's forever. Like we were saying with the, um... Like we were saying with the, um... When it challenged me not to press a button, I wouldn't put it past this game to be like after 10 minutes. It's like, okay, I give up. Yeah, something new happens, but... Oh, I meant to press the down button. Alright, I could be wrong, but I don't think that elevator actually does anything. Okay, happen. I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley mm -hmm. pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. My cursor kind of went away, so I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, what? Why is that nine? Yeah, I don't have a cursor. So I don't have a little dot on my screen, so I can't see where I'm aiming, which is a problem right there. Can I can I type? That would be nice. No, of course not. Shit. I assume eventually the game's gonna take pity on me. Ah! Do I need to literally duck down to hit eight? I don't know where my cursor went. What? Oh, it's open. All right. Never mind all that. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah, I got the feeling that, you know, the idea oh you're in a simulation and now you broke out now the monitors jumped to life Their i knew that wasn't the real ending like you know, that was the matrix from 20 years ago that like stanley's co-workers the lives of so many lame if that was the solution to this game on screen and stanley one of them there's got to be more to it than that this place where freedom meant nothing and i kind of get the feeling that Maybe I'm supposed to turn the this mind control mind machine control on instead facility. of off. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Even the, like, even the tone no, that the narrator is refused to believe taking it. He when he's talking about it, it. so his own life in someone else's sarcastic. Control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind that to the it's, world? That it's it's implying to me that that's not the real. But here was the proof. The heart answer. of the operation controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. 
because you know here's the thing if you mindlessly obey someone's commands to turn off the mind control machine are you really exercising freedom or are you doing what you what you're told to do so in a way the free will thing to do here is to turn it on because i'm being told to turn it off oh stanley you didn't just activate the controls did you after they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, Sounds like I should start the running. detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I didn't go off right there. I turned off the machine. You raised them. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate I'm to see it I'm hoping pressing go. these buttons will stop but the self-destruct. Sure whatever I come up with on the next go so around doubt will that's be gonna even happen. better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I, I mean, mean I didn't... Running from button to button, screen I didn't to assume screen, that, clicking but on I every hoped little thing it. in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored <laughs> ones, or maybe this big <laughs> red button, or this door, uh, everything, anything, something here will asshole. save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Three attempts remaining. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is seriously fucked up this right now. This is a challenge. It's a Anchor, tragedy. Right? You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Yep, or will you let power go button. peacefully? Another choice. That's not Maybe doing anything. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. That was fucking dark.
he really went all in there. Shit. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And of course he when Stanley he came told to me that he would tell me doors, he entered the door what happened to head. everybody and then he didn't. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The problem is, I don't know whether it's just, at this point, it's just going to repeat what I already saw, or whether doing Here's the, the same thing again. Go. Whether doing the same thing again is going to be different. I would have liked to think that if it wouldn't be different then it wouldn't let you repeat the same thing again but apparently that's not how this works because I have hit the same quote unquote ending multiple times Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility see I'm, I'm afraid that this is just going to be the same exact thing and that would suck The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm trying to think about what I can do differently that I haven't done yet. Unless something else opens up. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Maybe there is a way to turn off the self-destruct, but I don't know what that would be. I don't think it's really told me. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power Stay here, over just, another human life. For just don't he do anything, Pepe. Would dismantle the controls once and for all. Can't go out this door, can I? Yeah, I get the feeling that if I do it again, I'm just going to get the same ending. If I pick off or on, I'm just going to get the same ending again. That was so dark, though, how much pleasure he took in my <laughs> running around trying desperately to save my life. Okay.
in the monitor room. In this room? Oh, in the monitor room. Oh. You mean the one that I already passed by? <laughs> and when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah, I get the feeling if I do off, it's going to be the same thing. If I do on, it's going to be the same thing. Shit. Let's try it on, because I find it more interesting. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? So now it's can your I... time to shine. You are the star. Can I turn it's it off now? That would be hilarious. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? Nope. You'd like to know where your co are? Cannot hit off. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. It would have been hilarious if you could do all that, right, and I just never good. thought of it. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the I machine, guess. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes I guess he quote unquote did tell me what happened to them, I guess. I there in your guess. office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go, but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. It's My goodness, well, only oh, 34 seconds a... left, oh, but I'm shit. enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time Good on bit the there, clock. Uh... Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Having Stanley? that door be open Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing so right now? Close this. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I'm I seeing a green thing, so I'm trying to hit green button buttons. To button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. I get the feeling there actually is a way this out video of this. Game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose I in this place is? I don't know how you would know what it was, though. But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and the wretching explosion of fire and metal wow, over he's and over and even over for all of eternity. The first, uh... And Stanley died again. 
and Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. All of his co-workers were gone. I mean, he be? said a couple of different Stanley things. Decided he decided to go to the meeting room. Yeah. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He realized I had been there before. But he didn't tell me anything useful in terms of how to turn off the self-destruct. When self Stanley came uh, to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm afraid I'm at the point now where I'm just going to be repeating the same thing over and over again. Yet there was not a single but, person here either. Feeling a wave Let me do what you said, I will. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Stay in the monitor room an and we'll see what that Coming does. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's just gonna open the door for me, right? I wish this elevator did something. I kind of can't believe it doesn't. But again, I, I don't want to try something Here's that's the door. Just, go. just going to be a repeat of what we already saw. Games like this, I didn't realize it because I knew nothing about this game, but games like this might not be ideal stream material if it's just do the same thing over and over again and sometimes it's the same and sometimes it's not and you don't know which um stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that's more that fun to play by yourself than to facility. play in a stream where you have to worry about people being bored that you've done the same thing over and over again the lights rose on an enormous room packed okay. with television screens so what i'm not going to do anything here and we'll see what that does hold, stanley thought to himself did he have the strength to find out? Or maybe I need to move forward to the next section so they at least turn on. true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Jump down. Is that a thing I can do? How would I jump down? I can crouch. I don't know how I jump. Yeah, how do I jump? I don't see a jump. Oh, 
Why? Okay, but how do I climb things? Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, I can duck. That's all I can really do. Can I slide? Is that a thing I can do? Yep. Not really. Shit. I don't know how to, Oh! How did I do- I don't know how I did that. I did it somehow. What the fuck did I do? Oh my god. I think I broke the game. I think- I, I don't think it meant for me to do this. I'm moving around now and it's just like... I'm in the infinite void. Yep, I don't think they anticipated me doing this. Shit. I'm just like... Yeah, that just went somewhere I was supposed to go. Damn it. He hit start. Oh, yeah, that probably should have. How the fuck do I get out of here? No, well, I guess I can send them the, uh, they can clip the stream. I can do that. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to Okay, but this last game. time it said this, I did in fact push, press escape and push quit, else. which of course all stop that does now. is, you know, end choice. the game. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose Okay. Yes. Now, is it going to force me to hit escape and hit quit? I believe so. Man, this game's wild. This game is... Okay. Yeah. So my save point is actually, like, useless. I made the worst possible save point. This... All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Oh, this, this is, is interesting. Office? Okay. I was just sort I was just sort of starting to think, well, I've gone through all the you know I don't know what different choices I could make at this point, but okay. Now on my like third playthrough or whatever, it's a little different. I mean not much different, but there's all these papers on the floor that weren't there. Okay. Okay, so maybe there is more to this. I mean, it looks exactly the same except for the papers on the floor. When 
Stanley but came he, to a set of two open doors, it was he different. the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Do I get you another? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really okay. been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few minutes, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Jump through the window. Ugh, damn it, all the doors closed behind me. I'll tell you what, I am going to jump Stanley off this was thing so right bad here. At following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hi, Kiba. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone <laughs> thinks you are very powerful. Oh. Now I seem to be in the All same of his were gone. office. What could it mean? But Stanley decided have a bunch to go of... to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley Paper looked, he around. couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. See, this is the thing that's bugging me. How can I tell the difference between... How can I tell when the game is or is not going to repeat itself when I do the exact same thing? Whoop. And oh, that was me. I did that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yeah, see now, here's the problem. If I go down here, I get the thing where it's like, oh, is it all a dream? No, it's not. And then it seems like if I go this way, I either get, you know, turn the machine off or turn the, turn the machine on. And I feel like I've seen both these things. So how do I get to something different? How do I make something different happen at this point? That's Yet what I there don't. Was not a single person here that's either. what I don't understand. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, this was the. This is where when I went downstairs, it said it was a dream. Maybe I can go downstairs earlier. Can I open this yet? Hey! Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, this doesn't... I wasn't able to go in here before, unfortunately. I don't see anything I can actually do in here. Close behind me, that's where. Is it possible the elevator actually goes somewhere now?
There's got to be something here. Even these people would not make an elevator in a video game that does not go anywhere. There's got to be some way to do something with this. This has always been here. That is super fucked up. Look at that. Wow. I don't enjoy that. Here's the door. Just go. See, I think this is just going to be the same shit now. That one time, it's like, are you in the same office? But I don't know what that meant. That didn't seem to amount to anything. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh yeah, I could stretch this game out. This is like two and a half hours. Huh? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'll try turning the now mind control the machine off the this time, but I really don't think it's going to do anything different. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, These buttons working, have got to mean something. The game is taunting me, telling me that they don't mean and anything, the but they must mean something. the past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again... Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. 
for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it yeah, will be this feels his. this feels so fake. That was all he needed to know. The ending where you quote unquote free yourself feels knowing. like the most fake ending of all. Stanley stepped through the open door. And what was that thing where they were like, oh, someone is following you. What what became of Stanley all that? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. But yeah, it it's it's got to be part of the control mechanism that you think you can turn it off and free yourself from it. Wait, and that's Stan part. Thought to himself, am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Well, can I no, look at my computer? No, the orders were still missing. For now. I both appreciate this mechanism and wish I knew how many times I had to restart and play the same thing over and over again. It's like, this is a big when ask Stanley of people to, to be like... Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You have to play the same thing over and over and sometimes it'll be a little different and room, give you a little clue that we're not going to tell you well. when. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. And there's no way to skip forward. It through things you already saw. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, this in a while. walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get oh. even further. Off right, track. so the guy's gonna so fuck around with me a bit here. Back, he needed to go um, uh, 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 mm. from here. It's um left. Oh no, Stop. no, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Especially when it's part of the see, we went down part right, of the bit of the left, game that it wastes time on purpose. Left, it can be a little frustrating right. to go through scenes yep, yep. like this okay, multiple okay, times. Yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. That's weird. This doesn't even look familiar. Maybe I wasn't paying. Maybe I didn't notice that truck. Okay, this all looks the same. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who are you kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.
and you also can't tell in a game like this whether there is an answer to the question like whether i don't know whether the game will actually ever tell me whether what happened to all the people in the office or whether it's just like a when standing wait wait what no one no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted. Whether it's the game part of the over, point of the game refreshed. that you never find Everything that out. Should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or. Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Okay, don't remember which way I went the first time. I get the feeling it might not matter because they're all the same. Yeah, it, it, yeah that's right. It's a maze of twisty passages all like... I'm pretty sure. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can mm, promise you not. there definitely was a story here before. Do in we the just, same place. Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay, so now it's going to give me the line to fall? No. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Right, it totally told me to remember that fern. I mean, so far that hasn't come up. I suppose it's possible it still might, but it... I'd be surprised Aha! if it did. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so... Good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just yeah, follow the line. I think I... How simple is that? I'm replaying certain things because my first save the didn't knows where count. The story is. It's a crash. It's in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. See, so we got that speed run going right there. Wait, cut the music. 
Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. There's, there's sure no way. There's no way. And remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yep, I totally did that. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, that's right. Stir. Again, line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't yeah, go take ahead. this anymore to hell with it. Restart. I'd be shocked if it were, because there wasn't anything you know interesting what, about it. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something the exciting, art ending. daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Can you tell me this? Start wandering in, well, I don't know. Have I hit this direction? Have I gotten an ending yet? That is the kind of question that you have to now, ask about yes, a game like this. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Oh, okay. I thought Whatever you were looking at be, some Stanley, I'm ready FAQ for it. or something. Oh, no. Not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct I guess one. I must have Another because I reached logic. an area that Come seemed Stanley, to be the post-game area where destiny. they were showing you, like, Awaits. all the old concept art and stuff. That does feel like it wasn't that thing. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight eight times? Okay. That's all right. really how all this goes? So he is all it's right. all determined? That's so the now, ultimate troll of the, the game. Is, I, I think the game again? is actually telling me Am I just supposed after to forget? being an unreliable narrator, well, it's actually to telling me the truth now. I think My that I have to restart the game eight times. I bet that's actually true. On this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone I have, us? okay. Will something happen? Well, I haven't seen everything that says here for sure. So, okay. I haven't seen seven I guess or eight. Now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. 
Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I did, I did do that, yes. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, I feel like I've done <laughs> Is this the HD remake? I don't know how I would actually check that. Yeah, no, I definitely did that. It, it wasn't anything special. He was just like, well, wow, you really proved that you can do whatever you want. Congratulations, you died. That's basically what it was. Okay. My thing is just I don't want to And so he detoured through the maintenance section for, for everyone's sake to the opposite door and got back on track. I don't want to do things that like I don't want to take pads that will only result in things happening that we that we've already seen before. Now, that Yet schedule that we just look at implies... Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Implies that if you simply... That if you simply play the game over and over again, different things start happening just at... Yeah. You know, it just starts off being different. I cannot believe this painting. It really distresses me a lot. Here's the door, just go. I feel like Stanley at this walked point... straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Well, did I did I do this in this save? I don't know. I feel like at this point you might as well tell me if there were any 
The lights rose on an enormous Endings. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? If there are any endings that require me doing something other than just dying over and over again, is there any point where I can do something different? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, well... No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Um, I've turned... I've turned on the mind control machine, which makes it say... Oh. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Um... I've turned I I've turned off the mind control machine which makes which makes it say yay you you know you you escaped you're happy now I've turned on the mind control machine which has made it say which has made it get angry and it self destructs this room which is what I'm going to do right now um I've gone the wrong way Instead of going up the stairs, I've gone down the stairs to the boss's office, and that's where it's like, oh, is this all a dream? Maybe you're in a star field. All that stuff. Yeah. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place yep. and to everything Did that it one stood too. for. Oh, Stanley, That's what we're doing you didn't right now. just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation Yes, yes, system. that's the end of in the... the event that this machine is this all a dream and you're in a... DNA identification, maybe you're in a star field. Nuclear detonators are set to explode. Do you just kind of go crazy and kill complex. yourself? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little I'm more fun, isn't it, door. I'm definitely going to make it this time. It's your time to shine. You are the oh, star. No. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere okay, moments blue until button. the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. 
I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer uh, that something in this room was capable of turning Why don't you tell me what to do in that it way? It's only I mean, spoiled for you. one of us as opposed to both of us. to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little mind. thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One okay. solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this? There's got to There's got to be. There's got to be. A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off it's each time these, you fail. These colors Just are changing. Just you and me in the retching explosion of fire and metal over and over and oh, over five, for all two, of eternity. One. Fuck. And Stanley Fuck. died again. Fuck. Wait. But there's no zero button. And Stanley died again. And I was Stanley like, is it, is it giving again. me the answer in giant letters? Take a look at the clock, letters. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just well, I guess I could hit 5 two, one. That's a thing I could do. desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. Maybe and believe get this me, done I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Oh. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. I wonder if that's it, 521. It seems... Seems strange that there would be a zero in there. But, okay. I'm not gonna try it. I'll be right back.
Okay, so there were two problems. One that... If the code were 521, I don't know why it wouldn't just say 521. And secondly, that there were a few different numbers on the, written on the walls. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But there are codes on the walls, and it does seem reasonable in a video game that Yet typing the code that's written on the either. wall... Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided right to go to up do. to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I've got to do this broom closet bit again. I lost all this in my there was nothing here. game crash. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Alright. So now I am reading... Uh, entries to tell me all about the endings. So now we're getting super duper spoiler.
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It doesn't seem like there's any way to stop the countdown. So there's no point doing that. Now this may be something here, let me see. Nope, I think I did it wrong. Shit. Okay, there's still, there's still, I think, one other ending Here's I can get door. Just go. from this point. So let me do that. only in the ultra deluxe version okay cannot do that stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility i guess i'll kill myself again the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens what horrible secret did this place hold stanley thought to himself did he have the strength to find out? Oh, this was a big waste of time. Shit. <laughs> now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been Sorry, manipulated I'm not talking too to much. I'm trying to read blindly? these wiki articles and figure out no, what I can and cannot do. It. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Control so, yes, with emotions. Happy or sad or content. 
Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the code theory, reality of my his theory past sounded began good to, to put in, the codes on Stanley me. decided that this machinery would to never the again exert its wall, terrible say. power over another. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the I control, get the feeling did you? From what I just After read they kept you enslaved work, all these years, you go anyway. and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to oh. understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed so to let do it go, five, two, one. turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, okay, the detonators are set press to explode, the big red button. eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better really than what I had in the... mind. What a shame we have so like little said, time left to enjoy it. In the first place, Mere but let's just see. until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, Five. about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where Two. to start. What's that? One. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I mean, and hit the right button. Anyway, I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. All right. I erased One, four, two. I turned That's something else we can try. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time okay, no, of course not. The last one is just number one, which oh, is... Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no uh, idea where you're hard going to believe or what this you're could supposed be to be it? doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to Wait a button, minute. screen what the fuck to is screen, this? clicking on every little thing in this uh, room. These numbers. That didn't buttons, help. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big about a red power surge. It sounded this good. door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking I'm desperately for a numbers in here? Ten? A hundred? What's thousand? it say next to? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and yeah, the think that meant anything. Of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending to it. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. That is hilarious because I absolutely would have sworn that there would be a way to. How could you have the, that many machines and buttons and computers like 
bots where they even have that many things in this game you can interact with and there's 20 of them in one room and none of them do anything but i believe that is the case okay so i believe this is the one ending I, stanley yeah. simply couldn't handle the pressure what if he had to make a decision what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility he had never been trained for that no this couldn't go any way except badly the thing to do now stanley thought to himself is to wait nothing will hurt me nothing will break me in here i can be happy forever i will be happy stanley waited hours passed then days had years gone by he no longer had the ability to tell but the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough the answers would come eventually someday they would arrive soon very soon now this will end he will be spoken to he will be told what to do now it's just a little bit closer now it's even closer here it comes. So, okay, that was the... Um, what do they call it? That was the coward ending. Um... Let me save this first. Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. So yes, I think this is what Pepe is referring to before you can somehow... You can s somehow walk through this window. Stanley no, went not. around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Maybe I can't do it in this version. Maybe this isn't the HD remake. Kind of thought it was. But it seems to be saying I should be able to walk on this. Whoop! Wait, did I just do it? Did I just walk on the chair? Oh, yeah, I think I did it. I think I did it. Okay. Wait, now how do I get over it? Shit. Okay, see ya. It says that I can get up on this chair, which I did do. And walk through the window, which I don't know how I... Yeah, okay, so that's how I do that. And then walk at the window, which I don't know how I can do, because I don't know how I get over this. Um... Oh, can I just sort of crouch? Can I crouch forward? Is that kind of what I'm doing? Ah, yes. Did it. Well, kind of, maybe. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh... 
Alright, how do I... How do I choose one of these? Can I press the... Can I press the red? Am I supposed to hit a arrow button? I don't actually know what I'm intended to do right now. How do I do things? Ah, then in that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the <laughs> wow, other option? This is Clearly this whole super, gag takes some super time. Duper meta. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, it's been the, some of the think? usual stuff Which about choices. Was it's, the better one? Now it's talking about Imagine how long it takes me to replay the game. On your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky no, ones. That was my Though exact thought process. That is really miserable to listen to. Then perhaps this way I get more options fact, if I can pick yes I'm later. I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, now. I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Okay, now naturally I'm going to pick no again. Can I not do that anymore? Can I, can I pick yes now? I don't even know how I pick something. That's the first problem. Oh, I heard it. I thought I heard a button press noise. I can't. I cannot exit this window. I am now stuck in this window. This literal. I mean, maybe literal is not the right word, but this. I walked into a window in the world of the game, and now I cannot leave. Good thing I saved, I guess. How do I pick yes? Do I hit Y? I mean, there's only... The only buttons that exist are... Was the control and mouse one? All right, I'm gonna load my save. Oh. Hey, Kyle, what's up? No, I. Oh shit! No, no, you cannot be. I just saved. I saved it. Oh my god. Oh, I saved it. Oh, I'm so angry. I saved this game. All right. No, I actually got to the point where I did all the endings that I could figure out how to do, and now I'm literally looking up endings and just doing them. Oh my god, I I say <laughs> I knew that it might crash the game and I did that and I saved it right before I did it and for some reason that did not work. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. 
how they both wish to be free. Yeah, Can well, it's a tough, it's a tough you question, see Kyle, how because much it's, they need one another? it's a, it's no, a game that I think not. is intended to Sometimes be frustrating. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Oh. Don't let time choose. That's right, this save was useless. Oh my god. I just have to begin the game again. Unbelievable. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. But yeah, I think it's I think it's a game that's that's meant to be frustrating, but there there are parts of it I found extremely funny for sure. This game this game just berating you and yelling at you. To me that's funny. But yeah. I am a little frustrated that I don't think this game is actually going to have any interest in, like, resolving, like, oh, you know, who's in this office, what happened, is this, a, you know, what is this mind control facility, I don't think he even cares about things like that. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> wow. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. Well, that was beautiful. I really enjoyed that. Oh, we're still going. still we might just go forever that's possible
Are we looping? Okay, I think that's... This might just go on forever. That being said, I don't actually think I can do anything. All right. So that is the out of map ending. We saw the confusing in ending. We saw the freedom ending, we saw the countdown ending, we saw the museum ending, we saw the Mariella ending. Now this one seems really weird. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Can't even do it. Okay. Stanley came now we to saw the powerful ending, ending but we have not seen the meeting, very similar cold feet ending. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach. Giddy but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the road. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story yeah. and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Hmm. That actually seems the same as what I got the first time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Let me try this one more time. It says, get on the cargo lift, but back Stanley off it came quickly to before you move doors. with the This was not the, the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. Like a combination of a much smaller version and before. a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started oh, to maybe bleed. I have. That sounds made him smart, But eager to get back to business, Stanley okay. took the first open door on his left. Get on the cargo lift, but back off it quickly. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. So I'm gonna go... Bip. Bop. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. You know what? Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. Come on. 
I'm sure you'll survive the jump. <laughs> Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it! 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 <laughs> All right. Well, we know what's going to happen here. Whoops! Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Okay. Ooh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know what this means where sometimes all these papers on, are on the floor. Um... Okay, so this is another possible ending, and I think this is what Pepe was trying to tell me earlier. Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee we get lounge to first, the... just to admire it. Let me take the lift across. And here it was. The lounge. What a room, Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> what a room, what a room, what a room. How many this is of these Stanley are they right? What a room. <laughs> what a room, what a room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. Um, but yeah, if we take the lift across, the there's a point at which the phone the rings and you can unload the phone at that point. Stanley was so we're going to try that. Directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, no, 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 you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually <laughs> chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to wow. make correct and incorrect again, choices. Again, we're and to think I've been letting you run around meta, in this game for so before. long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. You know, it's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for acknowledging real world another video game character. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh, Please my God. observe this helpful instructional video. What is this going to be? Choice. It's the <laughs> best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike bananas. here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. 
If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Oh my god, what's gonna Excellent. happen? Excellent. Making oh. choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, even if you begin to wonder if your anymore. choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun oh. to deteriorate as a result wow, of narrative went contradiction. Off. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Wow, we went all out for it. Can I unplug? Can I unplug it again? Can I plug it back in? They totally went out, went all out for an option that how many people would even have thought to do that? And I'll plug the phone. Now I can't get back in. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Oh, we put the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. I'm gonna try. That I'm gonna try so no hard. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. This feels so strange and you only really can't go backwards in this game. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. So obviously what I'm going to do is take the door on the right. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Can I open this door? Mm. Oh well. Okay. Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> you, I can't believe Damn. after everything we've talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! <laughs> Why? For what? What did you get out of that? <laughs> what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? 
To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. <laughs> He's having a, I man, it's having a nervous to. breakdown. It's still fucked up. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine. Jeez. You run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's All a damn good reason I for it. The phone. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world <laughs> oh outside God, of he's you. Going in. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a yes, whole I, underground facility. You would have destroyed times, it actually. and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means oh. choosing responsibly and always like putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now I'm so tempted to go right, but I think the same thing might just happen over again, so I'm gonna go left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley okay, walked upstairs this is to all his boss's the office. The same so far, except I couldn't go downstairs, that was now blocked. Ooh, and this stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to okay, discover now this an indication room is of any different. Life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage oh, to I have face to the unknown. Speak. He Can drew I do a that? sharp breath and then spoke the code. Uh <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I think this might be the joke, is I. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Can't you didn't speak. mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. 
when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door uh. on his left. Okay. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Uh. Is everything okay? Is that me? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs Ooh. you to make a decision. It cannot exist. The first time I've seen the actual credits. Me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I wow. I need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. This narrator has more personality do than most, most video game characters. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? Uh, okay. So, yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay, oh, oh, oh. yeah I'm not going to be able to Time's control him. Your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. That is hilarious. It's literally all because I unplugged the phone. <laughs> oh my god, this all game is so well. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so apparently if I go right, I have the option to jump off of the lift. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct to way a to different the area. Room, Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the yeah. first open door on his left. I should have known they would do that at some point. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So it says jump onto the kit. So the thing is, how do you jump in this game? Look, Am I Stanley, going to be... I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. I mean, really if I not. if it brings me I above it, I guess I can just trust in someone else. Can yeah, how, how would I do? Can I just run? The what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right, so I have a couple options here. Can I open this door? No, I need some sort of key card. Okay, let's go the other way. It says danger doesn't sound great necessarily can't open that door it's shaking none of this seems good Just now listen carefully this death. is important stanley walked through the red door uh, everyone knows what aha <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Um, can I keep? Oh, they let me do it this I still time. I don't think we're communicating properly. 
Stanley walked through the red door. Yep. All right, well. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Got you rid see of the other really door. I have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so hmm. much happier if we just stopped. And Where's I this think, guy? Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Is something gonna come out of nowhere and kill me? Oh, can't go anywhere. Okay, let's go in the door. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Uh -uh. Okay, am I in the star field that I saw earlier? Hmm. Doesn't really look like it. It's only four dots. Here. Yes. The fuck? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, maybe I am in the star field. Now we got a bunch of stars. Uh, can I run off this edge? No. It is nice. I give you that. No, wait. Where are you going? This is a lot less oh, pleasant, no. for sure. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Well, I'm sure I won't die just from going up a set of stairs. What could possibly go wrong? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh, whoop. Well. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? This is bleak. Oh this is... Is this really how much you dislike <laughs> my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? This is like, this is my answer to him taking Glee and blowing me up with a nuclear explosion. Now I get to get back at him. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Okay, it's in them betting I'll actually die if I do it this time. Is it over? It. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Okay, so that is what is called the zending. Uh... 
Oh, we got the not Stanley ending prior to that, the one where I was floating a where I was floating in the ceiling. Um and we saw the credits, I guess. Uh it's kind of a uh out of body experience for Stanley there. Uh we got the apartment ending. That was actually the first thing I ever did. Huh. Wait a second. This one says, take the blue door three times, which I didn't think when I had Stanley the option came to, a to set of two do. Open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just Maybe to Maybe I can do it. it now, or I couldn't do it before. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, obviously, this is not a typical video game. I'm used to in every video game if a... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've If there's a the door with a key here. card, you're going to find the key really card, really and if there's... I realize that investing your trust um, in someone else can be difficult. A mystery, really? you're going to find out what happened, and uh, that, that is not what this game is. consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, now listen so carefully, says... this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. So it says take the blue door three times, so let's see if I can do that. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through oh, the red okay. door. Oh, I see. Oh, that's very clever. The blue door is still here. It's just on the opposite side now. I didn't even see All that. All right, fine. Go ahead, very Stanley. Very cute. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I thought they took it away. I did not turn around. Second only to not looking up in video games is not turning around. You see? There's nothing I'm a mistake. Here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically <laughs> for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Uh, and in the end, it was so all much time for nothing, being berated by this game, and I love it. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely <laughs> nothing so far. Sounds, sounds good, Tell actually. What, let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay. Oh, this looks okay, familiar. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Absolutely, that was great. It was orange. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. <laughs> Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Ooh. 
Okay, now we got a leaderboard. <laughs> Stats. Which I suspect aren't real, but that would be fun. Um, yeah, I think this is probably just making fun of games that actually have this. Let's go orange again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard <laughs> helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. <laughs> the lengths that this game goes, sir. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, oh. the baby crawls left towards danger. You click oh. the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands wow, of this life. I think the art it's pretty crappy game, really dude. Take okay. Notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Yep. Is this? I think it might keep doing this until I let the baby go in the fire. If I let go a little longer. Yeah. And of course I had to cry the whole time to make it extra annoying. I suspect I'm supposed to let the baby fall in the fire here. And he's gonna berate me for being a terrible a terrible person. Oh my god. How did we even get started here? Oh I took the blue door. <laughs> I took the blue door. <laughs> The tangent that this game goes on. Alright, I can't take this anymore. You heartless bastard. Yeah, of Did course. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the oh, pain. What's, Let's see. What's going to happen what now? What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems Some sort like of it'll public work. Domain Let's give it a shot. Thing that they can do. Tic-tac-toe or... No! Oh, well, well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the it's one thing not, you've always desired. It's not a public game domain. I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Oh, that sounds cool. Where is it? Where is it? We'll go here. No. Here and then. Is this a joke that I can't even see these years? Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten oh. half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. This is it? Isn't yeah. it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Don't actually know how Minecraft works. I hope that isn't a problem. At least I can move around now. Find diamonds? Whoop. 
there fall damage in Minecraft? Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I'm going to be attacked oh, no, by a no, creeper. No, no, this is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> yeah, I heard something. If I done a little quicker. Oh. <laughs> Yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. No. I can actually pick... Oh, it's Portal. Okay. I can actually pick things up. Okay, act... Oh, shit! I can actually do things. Well, I never played Portal because I figured I would be bad at it. But we're here now. Puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Okay, watch me not be able to do this. Uh. Oh. Did that open up? Oh, okay. So, oh, it changed color when I did that. That seems like a good sign. Genius. <laughs> that can't possibly be it, right? Huh. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience, which is why rather... Yep. Wow. This is fun. What? What the hell, man? This is spooky. I don't like it. And I also don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. This is wild. I can't believe they even programmed all this. It's like the... <laughs> they wrote Minecraft and they wrote Portal. All for a thing that what percentage of people would even see. I mean, obviously they didn't literally write those games, but you know what I mean. Four two seven, which is me, right? Yeah. Okay, can I do something? Shit. Hmm. Uh. 
Um, I kind of thought that this would be the way to go. It had a nice light. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay, so that was the game's ending. Um... And apparently, and I'm not the least bit surprised, it was serious. If you play the baby game for four hours, you do get a different ending. But obviously we're not going to do that. But that is the kind of insane minds that the people who made this game have. Um... We have not seen the vent ending let me see how we do this oh this ending is exclusive to ultra deluxe okay well we can't do that so let me sum up we've seen freedom ending countdown ending museum ending burial ending um there's All one that we haven't seen gone. what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. One we haven't seen because I need this computer to be on. And for some reason it never is. So I know how I'm supposed to fix that. Uh, we've seen the broom closet ending, which is not really an ending. Uh, we've seen the confusion ending, we've seen the powerful ending, we've seen the cold feet ending, we've seen the not Stanley ending, we've seen the zending, and we've seen the games ending. And we've seen the coward ending, and the other map ending. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. So the one we haven't seen is the escape pod ending. And I... I tried to do this once and I didn't do it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, glitch the, the door, door glitch the doors in the boss's office. We have to walk in and then walk back out and have Yet, a close there was not behind a us. Person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to so a let's, staircase, let's Stanley see if we can walked pull upstairs this, uh... to his boss's office. Shit. This is going to be hard to do. Oh. Things look different.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I didn't go through a bunch of mothers. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Okay, just want to get that. Probably the coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to be his locked up from office. There. Okay. So I gotta walk in slowly. No. Huh. How exactly would I do this? Because I feel like I have to be a decent amount away for it to close. It doesn't close right away. What? Shit. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> yes, the broom closet is now locked up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I guess it's possible this isn't the HD remake, which is where the sending is, but I thought it was. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Ah, shit. Yeah, I don't know how you do this. I'm going to try it one more time. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. Maybe it's not the HD remake and I just can't do it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he'd come to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, it says. Where is it?
enter it slowly and quickly step back when they begin to close. Maybe I should just go straight. Hmm. It doesn't close on when I do this. Seems only close when I go like this way. Oh, oh, ah, oh, well, can I, can I close it? Can I just literally close it? Can't close it manually. That felt close what I just did. It's not closing. It's not closing at all now. That's funny. So I did glitch the door, but I think not in the way that it wants. Here's the door. Just go. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, this that this is a weird thing that I don't know. What am I supposed to make of that that someone's allegedly following me? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the super door hard to left. tell when this game's trolling you. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to try this. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, well, I don't know how to get that ending, and I don't know how to get the, what's called the heaven ending, because one of the computers that I need to uh, be on isn't on for some reason. But we got like a dozen different endings, and I think we got a pretty good feel for what this game is, which is a a game about... A game about free will, a game about whether the plots of, whether plots mean anything. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, an interesting game, a funny game. Uh, not for everyone, I'm sure, but it was a nice little... Um, nice little creative thing that they put together here um, and certainly Easter Egg Central with all these insane things that I like I said I can't imagine most people would ever see because you have to do such specific things to find parts of the game that are the parts of the game that are like the most built out and put the most work into them I feel like are the ones that the least people will see so it's wild the wild way to make your game uh, but I appreciate the strange links that they went to here. Um, so yeah, we'll pick up, uh, I don't know what, 
I'll find another game to play because obviously we're done with this a game that is intended to be done in an hour and we did it for like four and a half hours I think that's pretty sufficient um, but I'll find something else and we'll get back on the uh, schedule thanks to everyone who showed up very much appreciate it have a good night